Algebra lets you describe and represent patterns using concise mathematical language. Using letters and symbols to represent numbers is known as algebraic notation. If we need to work out the volume of an object, using algebra to do it instead of physically working it out saves us time and effort. Many careers and professions use equations to make quick judgments and perform practical calculations. When operations are performed in hospital, for example, an equation is used to work out how much anaesthetic to give the patient. Getting it wrong could be deadly. Let's have a look at an algebraic expression. If you want to multiply something by 3, and then add 4 to the result, it can be written as 3n plus 4. If you want to multiply something that is squared by 4, add 4, then divide the result by 2, it can be written like this. We replace the something with a term, usually a letter or a symbol. They can represent many different values, so they are called variables. To use algebra effectively, we must be able to simplify expressions by collecting the like terms. Here's an example. This can be simplified down to 5a minus b. Algebraic terms should always be written in their simplest form. We can use the acronym BODMAS or BITMAS to help us remember the order in which operation, operations should be performed. Can you memorise what these stand for? The laws of indices should always be followed when simplifying equations. The first three laws are represented like this. Let's try to simplify an expression by collecting its like terms. In this example, let's highlight each term. Be sure to capture the plus or minus signs in front of each one. Then we can move them into the best order so that like terms are together. Like terms have the same combination of letters, for example the x terms in this equation. Now let's try multiplying out brackets. The thing outside the brackets multiplies each separate term inside the brackets. When letters are multiplied together, they are just written next to each other, like this. A minus outside of the brackets reverses all the signs when you multiply. Factoring an equation is the reverse. We need to put the brackets in. To do this, we need to take out the biggest number that goes into each term. Take each letter in turn and take out the highest power, for example x and x squared, that will go into every term. Factorised, it, it becomes like this. 5 is the biggest number that will divide into 15, 20 and 35. x squared y is the highest powers of x and y that will go into all three terms. z was not in all terms, so it can't come out as a common factor. The parts taken out and put at the front are the common factors. The parts inside the brackets are what's needed to get back to the original terms if you multiply the brackets out again. In summary, using algebraic equations helps us to solve practical problems in our everyday lives quickly and wisely. Getting our equations wrong can lead to serious consequences.